welterweight division matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. So here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like folding a slice of pizza in <laughs> half, you know? Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Both fighters are 19, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA, shot down. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Boom Boom. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Big kick land. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna set your body off. Oh, that couldn't have gotten good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and 
is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. That's a great punch. He does a lot of damage if you can hit him in the body that clean. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good shot. Huge oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that power up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Over and over, he landed his big body kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Seconds to go. 20 seconds to go in round one. Just misses with that one. The next with the right. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big kick land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice straight punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Back and forth we go. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Real sneaky body kick. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. He got his bands! Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, he lands a nice...
Another strike to the body, really starting to connect. Oh! Belly could be trouble defensively. What a fight so far. DC, strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He blocks the punch. of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Hey. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Three minutes remain in the round. I mean, he's... Oh! He's out! Holy smokes! What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbow, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, five seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout! Boom, boom! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. 